Hey guys, it's Yeshiba here, and in this video, I'm going to be making a guide on how to solve the Cornelis puzzle. The main reason why is because a lot of people have been asking other people on how to solve this puzzle. I remember when I was trying to solve this puzzle, people were asking me on how to solve it, even though I haven't solved it yet. For a fact, the... How the hell do you call it? I don't even know what it's called. Mine? I know the game's called... Oh, it's Rune Sweeper. Okay. This game is based around Minesweeper, which is actually a real-life game. So, this game is based around numbers and trying to find out where mines are. Sometimes the best thing to do is start off in corners, but sometimes that can also be a risk. No matter where you start, you will always be in risk of touching a mine, which would cause you to reset the game. One note that you should be aware of is the rule of corners. What that means is that since each number represents a mine that could be up, down, left, right, and corners. Basically just one square. If there's nothing else touching except for one cube, that will represent a mine. Same thing for this. Down, up, left, right, corner, nothing, found. Found one. What you never want to do is start off maybe somewhere so just like, I'll just start off here. Okay, you can't do that. You should not do that. I get raped. Okay. Ah. Uh. Okay, three, one. They're fine. They're fine. No, they're fine. It sucks. Let's come. Let's go back to that one later. Okay. Just be aware that each puzzle will be different every time we reset. I remember taking pictures of at least over twenty puzzles when I was trying to solve this. It literally filled up my entire desktop. I never found any of the same puzzles again, which is really, really a waste of time. I think I spent over two and a half, three hours trying to figure out how to solve a puzzle, which did not help at all. Okay, so, now you got a whole bunch of random numbers here, representing each mine around, like I said before. What you should do, is check off each where one of the mines are, just to remind yourself where the mine will be. Okay, so. Now we're down to these five. Actually, I'm just going to get rid of that one. Okay, rule of corner. Since that's out, that would mean that, that one's out. And due to the rule of corners, it says these two uh, twos are in the radius of one block. That one's also in line, which means these two are out. That means we have solved six lines already. If you have more numbers like three, these are more trickier to solve. Which means you are going to need to take chances. I'm just going to go back to this later because I'm still, still nervous about that side. I'll continue working on this side. Okay. Now there's a two here. That's annoying. Be aware that if I screw up and you didn't, just keep going. Don't reset when I reset because that would just mean that it's a shame because that one that you reset, you could have solved. Okay. Oh. That one's for a set. What in doubt, choose that. Okay. Okay, that one's that. That one's definitely a mine. Okay, means that one can be mine. Okay, there we go. Oh. I only need to solve seven more left. That sucks. Okay, reset. Reset. Okay, first 
one that has a there we go okay so if you get one that is one left from becoming a perfect square of ones beware of the rule of corners if these two represent that one and there's no other twos around just only ones that one's definitely in mine okay same thing for here now there's a two here that two is in the same radius of the other two, so again, square root side radius, square root side radius. That's one down, which means that is a that is solving that one. So there's one more left, and again, uh, another two. Ones, I don't care. Twos are annoying. Threes are pain in the ass. Fours are a nightmare. Fives are just trolly. Okay. World corners. Two left. I hit a mine. We are back at square one. Yay! Yay! One, two, three. <laughs> okay, sweet, here we go. That's literally solving most of the puzzle. One. Two, three. Reason why is because that two had no other else to go. Which is only half the square, since the other ones would leave off the board. So that two was nowhere else to um no worse else of a square. Each number represents the amount of uh, minds they're sharing. They would never differ, no matter what. So now the three has been solved. Same with the two. So now we can work down. That two again shares with that and that. So you don't need to worry about that. Same thing. One. So literally, that's all solved. You can avoid all that. Avoid the nightmare. That one's a mine, so it shares. Since these two share a mine, that is neutralized. Which would mean we're going to have to take chances here on solving which one is a mine. Since these two are, have no relationships with whoever was that one, which would mean the process of elimination, that one's not a mine. Now, I'm going to explain how I did that. Well, solve. If that one was a mine, that would be a 2, and that would be a 2. Since they're 1s, and in the square radius, that one's not a mine. Because that one would have to be the mine. Okay, now, roll corners again. Mine, and mine, and mine. Which would mean, 3, 5, 8 has been solved so far. Which would mean one of these three are also a mine. And that one's solved. Three. Okay, so now the final ones are inside here and one of these. Which will mean that one's not mine. That one's not mine. And since. This two in the square radius. That it has to be one of these two, it will not have the same relationship as these two. But however, it would have a relationship with that three. Which would mean there's only one more left to solve for that. Actually no, there's no more left to solve for that than that. Which would mean that is neutralized. And that is neutralized. Okay. Now. That's a mine because. The rule of twos. Square radius. The only ones that are touching is. Oh. Oh wait. Never mind that. Never mind. Never mind. Wait. Yes. It would be. Okay. Because. Square. I mean the rule of squares. Nothing around. And that 2 is supported by that 2, 
which has nothing else touching except them two, and that two, which have nothing else supporting that two. Okay, now there is only one more left because if you add up the mines found, three, five, seven, nine, and there's only two left, that would make 11 total. Now, the tricky, tricky part is that every number here supports both of these, but also are in a relationship of these. I could be wrong here because that one that I've clicked right here could just be a number. And that for a fact, one of these. But however, due to the rule of corners of that one, that's a mine. And do the same thing here. That one's a mine. And so, you're going to need to take chances here, which are a 50 50 chance. Oh, this is so sketchy. Oh, I'm so nervous. I'm probably going to have to take a shower once I'm done here. Okay. Me, 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 my, yeah, my God. Okay, I'm just gonna look at the numbers more. Okay, do you support by that? That means there's only one more left. That. It's in the square radius of that. Again with that. Again with that. I have a feeling that. It could be this, but again, that would be a three. So, that one has to be the mine. There you go. Then that one has been solved because the reason why, square radius. If that's what the mine, that would be a three because square radius always evolve one around. So, this would be mean that, that, the three, mine, and the mine, since that one empty one was not mine, it remains at the two. Remember to count out as much as there is. So, and that is how you solve Minesweeper. Remember to play extra games and take notes on how to solve these, because, ah, this game is very complex, can be very difficult to do. Thanks for watching guys, comment, rate, and subscribe. Remember to train yourself more in this video. Well, not in this video, but I meant the game itself. And yeah, see us.